my words, the Chicago Bears will be controlling the top of the 2023 NFL Draft. Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports all back at it with another video talking. Of course, my NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, season-long Bears coverage on this channel, you don't want to miss out. Hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Let's get into it. All right, so the Chicago Bears season is effectively over. I know we've got some games left, but the Bears aren't going anywhere this year. We know that. It's already time to flip the page and look towards next year, meaning the NFL Draft. And when we take a look at the NFL Draft, it is certainly interesting to see that the Chicago Bears are slotted at this point to have the number two overall pick. Now, still some games to be played. Things could change. But let me tell you why the Bears are going to be controlling the top of the 2023 NFL Draft, and they won't even have the number one overall pick, all right? So here's why. When we take a look at the Bears' schedule, they most certainly will lose the rest of their games, putting them in prime position to have that number two overall pick. And, you know, there's teams like the Rams and there's teams like the Broncos that could definitely, uh, you know, finish with the same record, win the tiebreaker and whatnot. But I would tell you the Rams and the Broncos play each other at the end of the season. So somebody's getting an extra win there. And teams tend to rest their, rest their guys at the end of the season. And so you could pick up a couple of wins that way. The Bears really won't have that because they play Minnesota at the very end in week 18. And Minnesota's vying for the, um, the, the NFC number one seed. And so they could still play their starters there. Basically, the Bears losing their last four games pretty much a guarantee with them playing Philly, uh, Buffalo, Minnesota, and Detroit. Now, I know Detroit's not as good as those teams, but they certainly are surging and playing well. And so, if you have the Bears, let's assume, in that number two spot, the reason I'm telling you they're going to be controlling the top of the draft is because when we take a look at the number one pick, that will be the Houston Texans. They most certainly will take a quarterback right? And we know that. And so you'll have a quarterback gone at number one. And then at number two, the Bears don't need a quarterback because they have their future in Justin Fields, right? You might not be sold on Justin Fields completely, but he certainly has shown enough this season to be afforded the opportunity to be given the reins of, the, of being the franchise quarterback. So the Bears will not draft a quarterback. And so you have the opportunity at number two, to trade that number two overall pick so that a team can come in and take that pick and draft the quarterback. But for that number two overall pick to give it away, you got to give up a King's ransom because that is the price to pay. If you want to get your guy, there's some good quarterbacks that could be at the top of the 2023 NFL draft. And we know teams need quarterbacks. So taking a look here at the potential draft order and the teams that could use a quarterback, we've got the Rams, who could finish with a bad record, but their picks going to Detroit in the Matt Stafford trade. Detroit still needs a quarterback. Jared Goff is the present, but he's not the future. And so Detroit could potentially trade with the Bears for the number two overall pick. We've got the Denver Broncos, whose pick is going to the Seattle Seahawks in the Russell Wilson trade. Boy, that looks awful, doesn't it, at this point? The Seahawks need a quarterback. Geno Smith is, again, the present, not the future. Seahawks could trade with the Bears for the number two overall pick. We've got the Saints, who actually could use their quarterback themselves, but their pick is going to the Eagles. The Eagles don't need a quarterback. They've got Jalen Hurts, so they might not trade for that, but they could trade their pick to somebody else. Other teams that could use a quarterback. The Panthers, they don't have an answer. The Colts, they certainly need a quarterback. The Falcons, they need a quarterback. So you see right here five teams, potentially six, that could use and need a quarterback and they could trade with the Bears. I'm talking about giving up a King's ransom for that number two overall pick. Multiple, multiple picks to move up to that number two spot. And the Bears could literally ask for whatever they want because they don't need a quarterback and they know other teams do. So they're in prime position to control the top of the draft without, you know, really needing a quarterback. So that is going to be the big advantage for the Bears. And I most certainly think... 99.9% .9 they will trade their pick. Now, they certainly could take somebody at two, and it won't be quarterback, but it just makes more sense. It just makes more sense, and that is my hunch at this point, is that they trade that pick for a King's Ransom for a ginormous trade package, 
and they go ahead and trade back down and and they use those multiple picks uh to to build around justin field so again just to recap the teams that can use the quarterback lions seahawks panthers colts falcons that's not all the teams that's the teams at the top of the draft and we could certainly have teams that are at the bottom or the middle of the draft also move up so the bears will control the top of the 2023 nfl draft that is what i believe let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below as always thanks